One of the best ways to save money while painting is to learn how to make your own painting panels. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do it, and at the end, we'll calculate the total to figure out just how much we saved. You can find links to all the materials that we're going to use in the description below. So the first step is you're going to need to decide just how many panels that you need. We'll be cutting them right out of two by four foot sheets. So use a pencil and paper and go ahead and figure out just how many sheets you're going to need to buy. Second, we're going to take a little trip to the hardware store. Now what we're going to be looking for are some hardboard panels. Now sometimes these are called masonite panels, just depends on where you're looking. You want to find some two by four foot sheets that are in pretty good shape around the edges. An eighth inch thickness should be just fine for smaller panels and if you want to go um, 16 by 20 or larger you, you might want to stick with three sixteenth inch thick panels. And here's a pro tip, if you know you're going to need a lot, just go ahead and buy several sheets, even if you don't get them all cut up at the same time, at least you'll have them for when you need them. Step three, we're gonna need to actually cut out the panels from the hardboard sheets. Now, the best way to go about cutting out these panels is to use a table saw. The tricky part is not everyone has a table saw just sitting around. If you don't have one, ask around a little bit and see if a family member or a friend or even a neighbor might have one that you can use. Or if they're worried that you're going to cut off your finger, maybe they can help you out with it. A few years ago, I bought this mobile table saw from Harbor Freight. It's definitely not fancy by any means and it wasn't super expensive, but it will get the job done. I'm not building a house here. Once I get my saw all set up, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a measuring tape and set the guard uh, at the appropriate distance away from the blade and I'll go ahead and start running my panels through. Now the most important thing is to make sure you keep your edges as nice and straight and square as possible and then of course you want to be safe. Please, if you have no idea how to use power tools, don't just jump into it. Ask someone to help you who has some experience because it's not worth losing a finger. You're going to need to adhere your canvas to the panel. I personally really like to work on loose sheets of Belgian linen that's oil prime, so I will go out and buy an entire roll and cut it into the, uh, the sizes that I need and I'll go do my paintings and the ones that I want to keep I'll glue down to my panel. So you can go to your local art store and they might have some um, rolls of canvas that are pre-primed that you can look at. And of course there's going to be a wide variety of prices and qualities to look at. And even if they don't have a whole roll or you don't want to buy a whole roll, some places will even let you buy it by the yard which is super um, handy. Now you're going to want to cut your canvas to size so that way it fits on the panel but leave about a half inch or so of space around the edge so that you have a little bit of wiggle room. I like to keep a bunch of these just cut up and ready to go. To adhere the canvas to the panel I'm going to use a neutral pH glue. I really like this adhesive from Lineco. It dries clear, is flexible, works great. You want to spread glue around with a brush on the surface of your panel to make sure everything is well coated. Pay special attention to the corners and the edges. This is where the canvas is going to want to kind of pull up away as the glue is drying. Lay the canvas down on the panel making sure that the prime side is facing up. Seems like common sense but you never know. And press down with a lot of pressure. Spend some extra time really pressing down those edges and corners. Then once you've got that done, lay some heavy books on top of the panel and leave them overnight. This constant pressure will really help the glued canvas to dry flat. While we're waiting on those panels to dry, if you found this video helpful so far, please make sure you like and subscribe. It's an easy and free way to support my studio. And if you like this tutorial and want to see many more on how to draw from scratch or how to oil paint with no prior experience, make sure you check out my online art coaching program at the link in the description. All right, so we've come back the next day and the sixth step is that we need to trim our canvas. So take all the books off, flip over your panel onto a clean flat surface, use an X-Acto knife to just kind of trim the excess canvas around the sides. Check the edges and corners to see if they're starting to pull up a little bit. If they are, you can apply some glue to a small brush or toothpick to help press it back down. 
Okay, now for the moment of truth. How much money did we actually save by making these panels ourselves? Well, let's tally it up and find out. So our two by four foot hardboard panel that we bought at the time this video was shot cost me about $5.59 for an eighth inch panel. And that works out to about 39 cents per eight by 10 panel cut out of it. And of course we've got our canvas, so I use for this demonstration a Blick acrylic primed cotton canvas. So the whole roll, which is 64 and a half inches by three yards, was $39.03. That works out to about 55 cents per 8 by 10 panel. An 8 ounce bottle of Lineco glue is about $7.02 and I estimate that uh, you might use about 5% of the bottle per 8 by 10 panel which honestly is kind of generous and that's 0.4 ounces so the glue for one panel about 35 cents. So the grand total cost of making your own super high quality 8 by 10 panel is $1.29. Now let's compare this to a similar quality panel at an art store. An 8x10 Masterpiece Caramel Hardcore Pro panel, which I think is a pretty similar quality to what we just made, will run you $7.16. A stretched 8x10 canvas will cost you even more. So that is a savings of about 82%. And if you think about it, the savings really start to add up when you're making 10, 20, or even more panels at a time. As you can see, this method of making your own panels is well worth it, and the quality is going to be way higher than you're going to get from any sort of cheap economy packs that you might see on sale. That said, canvas panels are just a part of my standard painting gear. To see what else I took with me on a recent planner trek through the mountains of upstate New York, make sure you check out this video right here. Until next time.